Hi everyone, good morning to you and welcome to our daily devotion insight. Today let us turn to Galatians chapter 6 verse 9 and I'm going to read it from the New International Version. And here it says, Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. And with that, I want to entitle my devotion this morning as Committed to do good. Alright? Committed to do good. When I read the first part of verse 9, I realize that we can become weary. Or in some translation, it says discourage or lose heart in doing good. So why is that so? How can it be? Huh? I thought doing good is something that is easy something that is satisfying, fulfilling, and something that is very enjoyable because, why? Because we are making this world a better place, isn't it? But when I give it a deeper thought to it, I realize what Paul has said is quite true. If we follow the thought process of Paul from the previous chapter, to do good here, actually it has something to do with walking by the Spirit, okay? And how can we know? Whether are we walking by the Spirit? It is when we have the fruit of the Spirit in our lives. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, um, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So, as long as we have the fruit of the Spirit in our lives, it implies that we are doing good. And when we take this and we apply it in the context of principle of sowing and reaping, when we do good, it is expected that in return, we will receive goodness as well. So, if we sow in the Spirit, then we are supposed to reap from the Spirit, right? Because uh, what we sow is what we reap, right? But what if we do good and we didn't receive the goodness? What if we love people but they hate us? What if we spread joy to others but they discourage us? What if we become the peacemaker, but they just don't want to make the amends with us? What if uh, we are patient, but they just like to get on our nerves? What if we show kindness and goodness to the people around us, but they are unkind and they just like to do bad things to us? What if we are faithful, but the other person is unfaithful? What if we are gentle, but they take advantage of it and keep oppressing us? What if we have self-control, but they just like to tempt us? You know, many times we have been sowing in the spirit. Hmm? We have been doing a lot of good things in our life. We have been showing a lot of love, a lot of uh, kindness, goodness, uh, peace, joy. Uh, At times, we even have sacrificed ourselves, sacrificed our time our energy, uh, our finances, just to do good to others. And we have been coming out of our comfort zone, our comfortable zone, doing what we can to help others. But as we do that, things are just not getting better. Nothing positive is happening. And nobody appreciates us. They don't appreciate what we have done to them. And so when these things happen, surely, we will get tired, we will get weary, we will get discouraged, and finally what happened? We will give up in doing good things to people around us. But yet, Paul encouraged the Galatians to not give up in doing good. Why? Because at the proper time, we will reap a harvest. You know, in this world we are living in, we want everything fast, right? You know, um, fast food, Uh, fast internet connection, uh, fast delivery, uh, fast return, uh, fast dry, and so on. And because of this lifestyle, somehow it has affected our view at looking the result of our action. And so we want to see that, you know, our result, we want to see our result immediately. We want to see it fast, we want to see it now. But we need to understand that farming, it takes time. Yeah. Farming, it takes time. It takes time for the plant to grow and for the plant to produce fruit. Maybe right now, you know, you are not seeing the harvest yet. 
But don't worry. Because why? Because the harvest is surely coming to your way. It is coming. The harvest is surely coming to your way. It is just at the proper time, all right? And likewise, doing good things, it takes time. Sometimes it can take up to days, weeks, months, or even up to years. Huh? But we still haven't seen the harvest yet. But don't worry. This morning, I want to encourage all of you, brothers and sisters, your harvest is definitely coming to your way. One thing we do know is that harvest is definitely coming. Nothing we do for the Lord is in vain. Amen? So we just need to trust in God's timing. We just need to trust in His timing. Why? Because His timing is always the best. He's never too late and He's never too early. He's always right on the time. Therefore, while, while waiting for the harvest, we need to tell ourselves, let us commit to do good. Let us commit to do good. And commitment, it requires faithfulness, perseverance, and endurance. So keep on sowing good seeds, keep on watering, keep on nurturing. You know, although maybe the weather it may be harsh, although maybe the pest uh, is going to come and destroy your hard work. Keep on doing all these good things to the people around us. No matter what are the circumstances, no matter what people think or say, no matter what they do to us, we must never give up in doing good. Why? Because that is what we are called to do and because that is who we are. We are spirit-filled people. Yeah, we are people who walk by the spirit. And if we walk by the spirit, it means that we have the fruit of spirit in our lives. Huh? Uh, the love, it means that we have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Amen? Yeah. Maybe the process, you know, it may be painful. Huh? Maybe it may be tiring. We might get hurt along the way. Uh, we might shed tears along the way. But God wants to assure you today, the harvest is definitely coming. Amen? Harvest is definitely coming. The harvest is going to be worth it. One day, you will be able to reap the harvest of your good deeds. Amen? So, you'll be encouraged today by God's word, and you have a great day today.